on wrongdoing inside the Bureau. Tonight, Agent Jane Turner tells her story in an exclusive interview with NBC senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers. Veteran FBI agent Jane Turner was given an unpleasant assignment last year. Investigate theft of a fire engine door and other items during the cleanup of Ground Zero. But just as the case was heating up, Turner made a stunning discovery. Inside her own FBI office, on a secretary's desk, a damaged Tiffany crystal globe that once looked like this. I was absolutely shocked. In her first interview, Turner tells NBC News that she immediately told a federal prosecutor and her boss that FBI agents may have committed theft from ground zero. I was offended that an FBI agent in their uh, responsibility to secure evidence stole an artifact. After two weeks, nothing had been done. So Turner bagged the globe as evidence and took it to Washington. The Justice Department is still investigating, but months later, still no charges against whoever took the globe. But for Turner, the consequences were immediate. Three weeks after blowing the whistle, she received this scathing evaluation, charging she has tarnished the FBI's reputation by telling prosecutors and others about the possible theft. So the FBI took the position that by reporting that an FBI agent may have committed a crime, you were the person who actually tarnished the agency. That is correct. Not the person who may have stolen from Ground Zero. That is correct. Last fall, she was put on leave. The only thing that they allowed me to keep was my 20-year ring. Privately, some FBI agents are furious that Turner made a big deal about a $275 globe and say she locked horns with management even before this incident. Can you understand why some of your colleagues think that you're being needlessly destructive. I believe and I embrace the fact that no man is above the law, including FBI agents. Earlier this month, the FBI informed Turner she's about to be fired. An FBI spokesman strongly denies it's because she blew the whistle. The FBI claims there have been problems for years, that Turner doesn't work well with other agents and makes disparaging comments about bosses. But Turner points out she had only very positive reviews until four years ago, when she first informed her bosses of FBI misconduct, including a botched investigation into sexual abuse of a child. She says the real reason she's being fired now is she exposed wrongdoing inside the FBI. The bottom line is you do not embarrass the Bureau. And I had embarrassed the FBI. Adding to the FBI's embarrassment, the original investigation into theft at Ground Zero has grown and been turned over to another federal agency. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Washington. When I come back in a moment...